Uh, uh, absolutely. I'm a Congo. Uh, this is a story from Business Insider. Go to my iPad, please. Uh, and this is, uh, is Oscar Brock, uh, who is from Tennessee. Uh, he actually said, if my job, along with other members of the RNC, is to protect the brand of the Republican Party, <laughs> this didn't help. You've energized young voters against us. Worse than squandering support, you've made enemies where we didn't need them. <laughs> and he said that even though Republicans control 75 of the 99 House seats, uh, he said the problem is there are a lot of competitive districts in Tennessee. And remember, Reverend Barber was on our show. He said 75% of the people who ran in Tennessee ran unopposed. So what they've done is actually given free publicity, uh, free, uh, greater fundraising for Democrats who were imperiled in Tennessee. This is a huge boost for them. Most definitely. I, I'm still tripping over the part in the letter about the Republican brand, because I'm like, what in the world is it nowadays? It, it, it's just hate and division. That's that's their job. When we look at what happened at the White House today, it was really amazing, because you look at the two constituencies those three representatives represent, young Black people and youth in general, and white suburbia, right? Even if she isn't from the suburbs, you know, white women in, in suburbia, two areas that people think the Democrats may struggle with in the next election. So this is very strategic for Joe Biden, who's expected to announce his run for a second term, some, possibly tomorrow, but sometime this week. And these are people he's going to be able to ca call on. At the very least, he got the photo op as it relates to some new rock stars in the party. So absolutely, the Republicans messed this up. And like you said, with the, with the trans representative, not only did they... Uh, silenced that representative, but they also intentionally misgendered the representative when, when they when they called the, the representative out. So they are on a hardcore push to try to silence voices, but it's not going to work. Only way it's going to work, Roland, and we've seen this happen too many times, if so many of these young people who are get out there and protesting are not voting, if they do not vote. And so we have to be mindful and strategic. All of these young people who are going to turn 18 between now and the next election, as Joe Madison said, we need to be having voter registration cards at these graduations. We need to stay on that, because if all of these protests keep happening and they don't vote, Republicans can continue doing what they're doing. So that's the key. And you've said this multiple times, Roland. It's not about supporting the Democratic organizations, supporting the get-out-the-vote efforts on the ground and the local communities. And if we do that, we can do incredible things in Tennessee and beyond. Last